So let's take a look at the anatomy of an Azure role. And as you uh, saw in the previous slide, it does cost money uh, uh, to be able to have the privilege to create uh, custom roles. You'd need an, um, an Active Directory Premium version one or two, but it's still uh, a good practice to go take a look at what the contents of an actual role is, because you can actually look at the managed roles, open them up and, and see what they do. And you should really look at them and not just take them uh, based on the uh, face value of the name of the role. So I want you to know that uh, Azure role documents have two different syntaxes, whether you're using PowerShell or CLI. And so for the example here on the right-hand side is gonna be using PowerShell and it's very simple. Uh, and it's the, just the property name is gonna change. So see where it says name. Uh, if you were using PowerShell, I have in parentheses, it'd be role name, okay? So if you look one up and it's using JSON uh, and the names are different, you're gonna have to do that translation, all right? So let's just quickly go through the properties here. So the first thing is the name. That's gonna describe what the role is. Then you have the ID. This is not something that you are creating. It's gonna be auto-generated for you. Then you have is custom, whether it's gonna be custom or not. The description, that's self-explanatory. And then the actions. This is what you care about because the actions tell you exactly what you're allowed to perform. Uh, uh, so that's a big list there. It's pretty self-explanatory. But then you have not actions, and this is basically uh, you explicitly saying you're not allowed to do these things. It's just a guardrail to make things safe. Do you really need a not actions? I don't know, that's just how they designed it. Then you have uh, data actions. This is an array of strings that specifies data operations that are allowed to be performed within the uh, data, within that object. And then you have not data actions, so things you're not allowed to do with data. And then assignable scopes. And this is an array of strings that specify the scope for the custom role. Um, and you can only define one management group for assignable scopes for a custom role. I do wanna just point out one other things with these, uh, um, these roles, and it really just has to do with these uh, asterisks, uh, just if you're not familiar with them, but that usually indicates a wildcard permission. It's like saying match everything. And so um, when you're doing that, it's gonna match things like, uh, you can use it in actions, not actions, data actions, and not data actions. Uh, and so again, it just matches everything in that sub thing because you might have a bunch of uh, options you can put there. Uh, and so for example, uh, what it's doing, like let's see, see, see where it says management or cost management and it has action, read, write, delete, run, action, all that stuff in red would be matched uh, with that asterisk. And I, I know it doesn't match the examples on the right hand side, but you just gotta imagine that there's other things there, okay?